a new video lecture. Today we will discuss about the different types of three hinged arches. I hope all of you have watched the previous section related with the arches. Then different types of arches, Eddy's theorem. Even if you didn't watch, please go and watch the previous section. So today we will discuss about the topic different types of three hinged arches. We can classify three hinged arches as parabolic and circular. First of all, we will consider the parabolic arch and some of the features related with this both the arches. So let us take the situation. The given arch is A, C and B. Three hinges are given. So A, C, B the respective points are also given A, C, B. And we will consider one point X and then the distance will be from this point A will be horizontal distance X and the vertical distance will be Y. And about the crown point distance, the vertical distance will be YC and the distance, horizontal distance from both ends will be L by 2. This both A and B are called the apartment, the points which hold down the loads which are acting over this arch. And the line connecting is called springing line. Okay. So let us take the situation. Consider point X on the axis of arch. We will consider point X on this arch. And there are also some mathematical equations are also necessary here. Now taking A as our origin. Now taking A as our origin. Equation for the center line of parabolic arch. The equation for the center line of parabolic arch. We are, we are going to consider this A as our origin. And the equation will be, respective equation is y equal k, it is a constant, multiplied by x into L minus x. So this is a, an equation, mathematical expression here. So our intention is to find out this what is the value of k. When we are going to substitute this, when at x equal to L by 2, y will become yc. We know that when x equals this x going to be equal to L by 2, then y will become yc. Okay, so we will we can write down as yc equal k multiplied by L by 2, x will become L by 2, then L minus L by 2. So finally k equals 4yc by L square and substitute in this first equation, we will finally get y equal 4yc by L square into x into L minus x. So this equation is very important. Okay, this relation is considering with the crown distance also. So that is given as yc. So ne next we will go to the case. If you are going to take this crown point as our origin, first time we consider this a as our origin, next we will going to consider this crown point as origin, we will get x square by a equal, y equals a. It's a constant, a is a constant. This is a parabolic equation. Generally we know x square equal to 4ay. Likewise, some equations are there, parabolic, four types of equations. So likewise, this is an equation, mathematical expression, x square by y equals a. And when x equal to l by 2, and when this yc or h, this distance, vertical distance, y becomes h, then the value will become x square by y equals l square by 4h. This is also an expression. Okay, please note down those equations. These are the tenses related with the when both A and B are at the same level. Okay, next we will go and explain when both these points A and B are at a different level. And this distance also will be different L1 and L2 and the height also will be different H1 and here total distance will be H2. So already we derived this expression x square by y equal to a constant and then Finally, if you substitute all those values, L1, L1 means this distance, linear distance or horizontal distance, will become L multiplied by square root of H1 by square root of H1 plus H2. Just to substitute in these equations, you will get this general expression. This L1 plus L2 equals capital L. That's why here also L comes here. Okay, so these are the term terminologies related with the parabolic arch. Then now we we'll go and consider the three hinged circular arch. Actually, the shape is in the circular, and we only consider some part, only a segment, only we we'll consider in this case. So let us consider this A, C, B be the points of this three hinged circular arch. 
And the front is figure we can notice down that the capital R be the radius of this full figure. Okay, we, if you consider this as a circular, then the radius will be capital R. And if you consider this point, let us say this vertical distance is from is h small h, and the remaining distance will be 2r minus h. How we got it 2r minus h? Actual the distance is capital R, then here also capital R, so total distance is 2r, that is diameter. And if you subtract this h, then 2r minus h will be this distance de. Okay, I hope this equation is also clear. H and here 2R minus H. Then one of the property of a segment of a circle that is AD multiplied by BD equals CD multiplied by DE. That is written here. L by 2 multiplied by L by 2 equals H multiplied by 2R minus H. Okay, and finally we get R equals L square by 8H plus H by 2. This equation is also very important. And then coming to the xy coordinate relationship. So if you consider a point, let us take this point as P, and here the origin is O, and if this point is making an angle theta, this distance will going to be R sin theta, this linear horizontal distance, and this much perpendicular or vertical distance is going to be R cos theta. Okay. So our intention is to find out this x value, small x value. So if this much distance is L by 2, if you subtract this R sin theta, then the value of x got us L by 2 minus R sin theta. Then our intention is to find out this small y value, small y value, how to find out. If you subtract this R cos theta, then minus of this value, that is R minus H means this much radius is R capital R and this distance is only small h and if you subtract this R minus h the value of OD, OD value will be R minus h and our intention is only to find out this much value so the total value is R cos theta, R cos theta minus R minus h so finally we will get y equal h minus R into 1 minus cos theta so these are the terminologies related with the, the Three hinged arches, both parabolic and circular. I hope the section is very clear for you. So, with this, we will wind up today's section. Thank you.